young men started leaving from Oros to Syria in 2012, and less than a year after, the city developed the Oros model for returning fighters. Our approach is an approach to uh, an effort to minimize the, the risk that these uh, people uh, are opposing to society. Uh, and there's a, there's a, this is a two-way uh, street. One way is all the soft measures, which is predominantly what we do in the municipality. This is our task, bringing them back to society, giving them opportunities, giving them an alternative to uh, a path of radicalization and, and acceptance as a, of violence as a, as a political meme. Um, but it's also uh, a matter uh, of enforcing the law uh, and having all the hard measures of prosecution and, and uh, jailing people if uh, they have committed crimes. And that's up to the police and, uh, and the prosecution to, to, to do that. Uh, and we are trying to, to have this balance uh, and the different roles in, 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 in dealing with this issue. And you, know, and you need both. Out of the 35 who have been in Syria, 17 have come back and 11 have joined the Oros model. Police Commissioner Alan Oslev is convinced that the model works, even if there are always some concerns about potential threats. Sure, we have concerns. I'm quite sure we have concerns about that. However, they would be here although we didn't try to integrate them. And that's why we've chosen this strategy, is because we would have no, no el, uh, nothing else to replace it with. If we did not choose this strategy, it's important to say that most of these people are Danish citizens, and we did, if we did not try to reintegrate them, they would be on their own. And in my assessment, they would be a rather larger security risk for our community if we didn't do anything.